It is finally time. It is dinging time. Let's get in there. Let's get started. And uh, see where we left off last time here. And it, everything should be fine. Got the, the, the sound. Oh, God. Okay. We're good now. I'm just gonna start it with this one right here. Maybe I actually put my keys on the table here. I put them right here. Now I can have the full scope movement here. And I'm not stalling by the way. I'm just putting my keys and my phone on the table. Like that. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so last time we left off. We were going to go to the hall, uh, the dining hall to see what's going on here. Let's see if anything happened. None. You're a woman in late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. Do you really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Huh? Are you allowed to talk again? <laughs> I don't recall giving you permission. Huh? I, I just thought, I mean, since the day had passed, it had been reset. S so sorry. Please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign for my neck that says, Bad girl. I'll clean your bathroom with my two- Oh my goodness. If you start making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments. I promise. If I do, you can stuff my mind full of trash. As long as you, you and no one else, I don't mind. Okay? It's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... Oh yeah, you still have her here, right? Ah, are you looking for Miss Kirigiri? What What do you want now? I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Well, well, it's hard to say. Huh? You don't know either? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they, they name some indie bull crap. I feel like I'm getting whiplash. The way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness. It looks like Monokoma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off fine, just fine last night. Which could mean... No. Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kitagiri. Any idea where she might have gone? <laughs> we have no idea. If, and if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. For serious. Hmm, I see. Well, fine. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sign out of suckers. As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. So, what was just that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? <laughs> it would seem that way. Where the heck could she have gone? Don't you think we should all go look for her? <laughs> and how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Uh, yeah, she's, uh. yeah, how can he not know where she is? 
So strange. Kyoko must have used Akita's naked to some unknown part of school. But somewhere, even Monokuma wouldn't even notice. Where could it be? We spent the rest of the breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Phew. Brothers didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Free time. Okay. So now, uh, I don't have my options are limited here. Yo, Glitch. Th thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Uh, there you go. Oh, it's a bit too, too low right there, but I fixed the, the sound. And, uh. So isn't that kind of convenient? Like when you end, I start streaming. So it's like full cycle right there, the full circle. So we're we're, we're back and dangin' again. And uh, right now it's free time, so we have to find out who who to go to for with here. I should probably turn up that the the volume for that rate thing louder, because I did not hear it at all. All right, so let's go out here. It's probably on the fourth floor, right here. Let's go to right here. So I guess you you beat the gym leader already. Saw so Kai finish the last trial yesterday. Wow. Okay, okay. So look, I'm still right here in chapter four. So I was like, you know what? I got. I haven't watched. I haven't been in his streams yet because I know there's all spoilers if I go in there. So I was like. You know what, I gotta start catching up, so I start streaming this more. Let me see who's up here. I think I'd rather talk to Aoi. I mean, do I have her thing already? Aoi. Alright, alright, Th thank you for uh for the raid, by the way. You take it easy. Aoi, alright. How is over here in the dojo? Yes. Even if it's hard, you have to endure, endure, endure. That's a quote from the famous marathon runner Samuel Wanjiru. But even every person's endurance has a limit. Hmm, should I talk to Yeah, let's talk to her. So it's a Tawahina. I think we need to change the pace. And what I think to change the pace. I can only think 50 laps in the pool. I changed my pace with Hina in the pool. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Uh, let's give her, definitely give her a gift. I'll give her... She might like this hair clip. A hair clip in the shape of a little kitty cat. Properly placed, it can make a girl possibly sparkle. Well, I can keep this, right? Right? Yeah, ultra stoked. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Hey, hey Makoto. Oh, one second, let me let the cat out. Alright, the cat is out. I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? I woke up earlier than normal this morning. So I decided to do a push-up, sit-up, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. Well, that would explain it. I'm tired. So tired. I want something sweet. I want those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter, and eggs, then deep fry them. 
She's what deep frying. Uh, first one she did all that, I was like, maybe it's cookie, but what's she talking about? So what Hina's looking for is Oh, she's talking about churros. Churros. Are you talking about churros? Oh man, churros are good too. Wait, isn't that churros? Crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside. It's almost the same as what I'm craving. I guess you could probably put them in the same category, huh? Oh, there's something similar to churros. Uh, pe do people deep fry donuts? Oh, I know. You want some donuts, don't you? Don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Yes. Throw those in the microwave for a few seconds and just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You eat the crap out of that, right? You really do love donuts, huh? Is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth know? Who in the whole universe can say they hate donuts? Think about the sensation of biting into a donut. First, the sweetness floods your mouth. Then the soft dough cushions you. Next you get the hint of eggs and butter, right? Your whole body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. When people t think talk about the donut effective, that's what they're talking about. That's absolutely not true. Oh, I can't take it anymore. I'm drooling like Niagara Falls over here. Get out of my way, Makoto. I, oh, I got an uppercut with your name on it. I'm not in the way. Wait for me, God of Donuts. Almost before she was done talking. Hina took off like a bat out of hell. Whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. Oh, Japanese word? Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Right, right, right after the dangin' experience, I'm going to restart the stream here and teach you the Japanese word. And hey, welcome, Darius. Welcome. Hina's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. After I watched her run off, I went back to my room. Huh. I feel even worse than I did in the morning. My body feels like lead and... Now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. More free time. Before I do the free, free time here, I actually want to go to the, the gacha machine. See what I get from here. Right over here. I have a whole bunch of medals that need to be redeemed. Let's see what we got here. I try to keep things at 50% here. 50 50. Give it a shot. I have 103 coins. Keep that. Try to lower down the rate down to 50% like this. Hey, I'm a big spender. A flashlight. Extra. Extra one. Okay. Alright, let's lower it down to 50%. So it costs 7 coins to get it down to 50%. I think that was a dupe. So, yep, that was a dupe. Okay, that's a dupe as well. So right now it's at 56.68%. If it goes higher than that, that means I got something new. Oh, the, the gloves? Okay, that Sakura would have liked that. Alright, throw that an 8 now. Oh, that's new as well. Like this. Oh, wow. So I'm getting, I'm getting real lucky here. I'm lighting the 50 50s at the moment. So now I'm up to 10 coins per roll. I think that's new. Okay, I'm not. Is it still 10 coins? Yeah, 10 coins. I don't think I have that item either. Yep, that was new as well. Yep. Oh, 
Okay, I just gave that to her. Oh, so it's, um... Goodness. 11 coins. You know what, I might as well go. That's a, oh, that's pretty bad rate. Let me go with 11 coins, though. What is it, like a pen? I just want to go all in now. Might as well. This is all in. 43%. Oh, no, I lost it. I lost a 57%. Okay. Alright, so we got some stuff now. I'm gonna go talk to Hina again. Where is she? Oh, here she is in the dorm dormitory. She's in the laundry room. Okay, I'll go visit her in the laundry room. Like this. I think this is laundry room. Yeah, yeah, this is laundry. It has a little thing right there. Fold it. What type of magazine is this? The Lovely Ladies on Earth, August edition. Oh, that's the one that had the model in there. This is your next gen lotion play. Uncover the darker side of lotion. Alright, Sato. A person's ability is measured by the power they display at the point where pressure is applied. That's a quote from the famous baseball player Kenji Jojima. I think that what he means is that you only really see how strong a person is when they're under pressure. There's an expression as well about this. Sometimes. Um, the way diamonds are formed, right, is that you get, it's, it's a carbon, pressurized carbon, right, is, is what a diamond is, right? So sometimes in order to get the best out of someone, you have to give them pressure, and then they become a diamond like that. I wonder how strong I really can be. Hmm, shall I, yeah, let's spend some time with Hina. Okay, let's go to the pool, swim time. Oh, but don't stare, okay? I don't actually have a swimsuit, just a shirt, and when it gets wet, it's kind of embarrassing. Although I wasn't embarrassed before, but now I kind of am. I wonder how come. I went swimming with Hina, who seemed kind of embarrassed. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Let's give her a present. Alright, let's give her... I got some new stuff in the gacha machine too. So she likes donuts. Here we go, I'll give her the ring now. I see no, I gotta give this to Kyoko. I see, I already maxed out Kyoko's friendship. And uh, Kyoko's missing, so she might be dead already. So here we go, Hina. Wear it on your right hand, you're looking for love. On the left hand, you found it. Or both, well, that's just the c c asking for catastrophe. Ah, thanks, I'm super stoked. Oh, she liked that? Okay. Ah, uh, so hungry. What? What could have helped me? I'm hungry. What am I supposed to do about that? I need food. Anything. I don't care. If it's a stack of paper, need food. Why don't you just eat some more donuts? I can't. That's my secret weapon for emergency zoning. If I keep gorging on something with that many calories, I will get fat in no time. So, so... Even she cares about that kind of thing. Well, she is an athlete. Besides, I don't want anything sugary. Right now, I want a, a salty snack. Uh, um, n not yet. She's, uh, uh, right now, I'm just, uh, giving her gifts, building her up friendship and all that. There's, like, four of us alive at the moment. Like potato chips? Like ramen. How is that a snack? Huh? How is it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Show you, without a doubt. Ah, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You, you worried about calories and all, so... I'm a portastic toksu girl. Through and through. Oh, you don't care about calories at all. 
The key element of any tokutsu ramen is the butter and the extra fat. Yeah, th those are good snacks, you know. Uh, I I know the potato chips sna uh, snacks, but I don't know about the ramen snack. That was like a whole meal in college. <laughs> oh, so you're okay with all that oil? Uh, talking about it made me even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I can make it to the dining hall. Are you sure though? I mean, a bowl of ramen has way more calories than a donut. Who says stuff like that? Are you a real man? Or, or aren't you? What are you afraid of? Afraid of ramen? You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you. Are you still Hina? What a sight. Get out of my way. I'm gonna show you what a real man looks like. She's about to cowboy up for me. Uh, or are you gonna stand in my way and suffer the fist based consequences? No, I have no intention of getting in your way. Then don't. If I don't do this, when, it, when am I ever going to get another chance? Crying out like a starving raven, Hina ran off at a dangerous clip towards the kitchen. When it comes to food, Hina is terrifying. Hina's report has been updated. Maybe I finally maxed out her friendship. You just unlocked the skill, extraordinary focus. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. Okay, I think I might have matched her out now. I learned my lesson and made my way back to my room. Oh, I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. I can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body reached its limit. As I dropped out into my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weep back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say, this guy has cold sweats, oh my goodness. I was restless. Huh. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within that dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. That voice is so familiar. And it's... It's me. Zenbu. Huh? What am I trying to say? Hope. Oh, okay. Kyoko, what a relief. Every day is peaceful, every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days, days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No, no abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the t 
tiniest speck of immorality. Okay. Oh. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Ha. Huh. I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy, they all had all disappeared in the night. All that stuff was me drenched in sweat. That wasn't just because of whatever bug I caught either. It was also the dream I had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even a really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reeled them up in the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep and I, I heard a voice I didn't really understand and then all of a sudden I was awake and there was a strange person standing next to me, my bed wearing a mask and they were holding a knife I wanted to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again, the next thing I remember. Kyoko was here. And, and. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? Alright, let me do a safety save here. Let's continue. Oh, some kind of evidence of the dream. Okay, let me see. The evidence will be... What's in the trash bin here? I should look for some kind of evidence. Okay. What was this lint roller? Was it a dream or did it really happen? The answer that isn't hidden here. That's for sure. Alright, let's check the drawer here. Open the dust drawer and... Huh? It's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, there's nothing inside. That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive you put the knife I got from Toko in there. Well, that means... He took the knife. The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was behind the mask? And why was Kyoko? What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall. Then I could talk to everyone else about it. Ah, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure as the sky's blue. Huh, Hina? Before I go further, let me see... Uh, did I max out her her friendship? See if I did that. 
already. She has, still has more to say. Wow. Still more. Okay. You really had me worried. You know, what happened to, your, to you last night? Worried. Yeah, right after nighttime hit. We all went to get to you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you, you've been, you know. I mean, that's not that it actually happened. I mean, nobody here would wanna, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? I don't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come to get me? Did something happen? Um, well, lots of stuff actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Let's go meet up with everyone else. They can tell you all about it. So is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night. I lost our raw paper scissors, so I had to come to get breakfast for everyone. So you get you got here in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay, sure. Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? Why they stayed up the entire night? Oh, it's chapter 5 soon. This is actually chap uh, just chapter 4 at the moment. Chapter 5 is next chapter. Wait, let me make sure. Let me make sure. Oh wait, this is chapter 5. Oh wait, this, this is the grand finale of what, top left? Wait, let me see. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Okay, my bad. So this is this chapter five. Wow. So this is the grand finale, then. All right. Let's just go here to the gym. Right over here. So th this is my guess is like the longest chapter out of all. So I might get locked into a trial. Be like eight hour video. I was like, why is this eight hours? Well, you see, I didn't know how long chapter five was gonna be. Ah, <laughs> oh, there he is. This is worse. This is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. Jeez, to show up now, it's not like it's no big deal. You made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed. Just like Hina said, everyone was there besides Kyoko. And then I noticed. They form a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was. What the? Before I could catch myself, I cried out. Oh, they made a robot? Okay, spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. Are they celebrating? What are you doing? What does it look like? We're just smelling it to see what makes it tick. <laughs> yeah, that was some pretty good uh, artwork we got going on right there. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? Dang. Where's the crime music? Who murdered Makuna with this time? Who killed him? Look how they massacred my boy. It looks like it's been professionally dismantled. Dis disassembled. How is that possible? Tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Alright, who's behind this? Oh, is it you? Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? It isn't. What do you want us to say? Mama. Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto. Because that's how much I like you. Mm. But I could find this little fellow lying around. Then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. None. Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him there, just like normal, however. When I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. They're saying he wasn't moving at all. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. 
I got everything up as quickly as possible so they could they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated this disassembly process. It was master stroke of genius. A chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. Yeah, she knows all about that stroke. <laughs> One thing we discovered is that he's quite a so sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. <laughs> Toko? Yeah, she, she's always got... She says some quite interesting stuff. She, oh, well, she said... Uh, so far... My favorite part in the trial when she was like advertising like the uh, the criminal store, the criminal website. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyways? But besides that, what I'm wondering is, why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. I thought maybe he mal he's malfunctioned, but we didn't find any cause. Uh, we, were, we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break down, then maybe something happened to his puppeteer. The mastermind, something unexpected. So Kyoko, Kyoko probably did something here. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected. <laughs> they were probably so scared of master they ran away in terror. Or maybe they got sick or something. But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that, if not the mastermind? <laughs> oh, I'm sure that's, that's a recording. It's set to a timeline and plays as necessary. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Oi, oi. Hey guys, I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. Dabe. I just found something. What is it? Is that? Oh, that's that's what makes him explode. It's... Huh? It's what? <laughs> a bomb. A bomb. There's, there's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. A bomb. That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Roger that. <laughs> it appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, I'm sh it's sure to go off. Oh wow. It's fancy. Motion sensor? For serious? I'm starting to get all shaky. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Uh, you're not. So you're not fine. You're all ah. Oh, I probably should have mentioned. The motion sensor is off right now. Oh, there you go. Ah, jeez, don't scare me like that. Goodness. You're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Hey, come on. The century's getting just started. Just getting started. Don't call me the race already. Epic 7 RTA? Wait, what? No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hold on, no, no, no. It's like, what? What, what, what game do you want to see on Saturday, though? Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about editing that, too. I was like, it has to be like, like non-gacha thing, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever, just hurry and put the bomb down. H hang on to it. It's gonna, it's not gonna do any good. I actually edited a whole bunch of the rewards, too. I was like, alright, this RTA's all. Just refund. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll refund. I'll refund that real quick. Do is on stream. Hold on, let me go here. Well, that's not the right one. Where is it? It's over here. All right. So yeah, let me refund that real quick. You see, in person. There we go. Refund it. This one will do it at the end of the Monokuma stream. Not the Monokuma. At the end of Dangarampa. It's like gotta take a break from the gotcha for now. Whatever, just hurry and put down the bomb. Hanging on to it's not gonna do any anyone any good. Oh yeah, good call. Okay, it's it's down. Everything's all good. Here, put the bomb down. But that wasn't my main concern at that point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting it? But what could that have been when I thought about it? I couldn't help but think back to the night before. Uh, the person who died in chapter 4, that was... Okay, let me see. Chapter 3 was Celeste. Chapter 4 was... Uh, who did it? Oh, it was... um. 
They did, they did a double kill on Sakura. Sakura removed herself from the premises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sakura. The... The bit make muscle. Quote unquote guy, by the way. <laughs> I couldn't help but think back to the night before. Being attacked by that masked figure. Hey, uh, Makoto. Huh? Don't haunt us. Did you hear the thing we just said? Huh? So that's a no. What are you, some kind of brain dead farm animal? Sorry. We were saying since we're done dismounting Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we decided to continue our offensive assault. <laughs> to try and uncover the mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. There you go. Really? <laughs> since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But if the mastermind comes back while we're in there, <laughs> if you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Or, or go, live in the chicken coop, with all the other chickens. You can be chicken number six. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to be, to be, to deliberate. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. So, what are you going to do? Are you planning going to run away, or are you going to fight? You're right. I'll go with you. Okay then. Well, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything. Everything comes down to this to this moment. Anything can happen. So prepare yourselves. Uh, I'll follow you anywhere, master. Till the, all the ends of the earth. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. I can do this. I'm a man. And I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. We each found determination in our own ways. And we were ready. We left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. Here we go. What's behind door number one over here? Hold on. It's over. Fourth floor. What f this is okay. This is fourth floor. Is he up here? All right. What do you guys What do you guys have to say about this? We finally reached the climax. So let's hurry up and finish it before the mastermind catches us all. What about you? This is where we expose every last detail of the mastermind. Is everyone ready? He's like Jumbi Y E. All right. Let's go right here. is locked as expected so what are you gonna do isn't it obvious we're going to tear the door off its hinges wait but the rules say well he said screw the rules i have money we've seen that the mastermind isn't watching us those don't matter anymore all right but like makoto said if the mastermind did show up over we in there then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen okay sure but we come this far. We can't back down. We agree this is what we have to do. So we have to do it. So beautiful. Alright, alright, Toko. Magica. We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Let's do it. Let's rip the door down. Okay, but how are we gonna do that? The thing looks pretty sturdy. <laughs> so it's like. But put that, make that as an emote, right? Throw it in Discord, make it an emote. Toko, Toko Gazzo. Hmm. Well, then we'll need something sturdy on our own. But, but, uh, but one without the the nose dripping down. That nose drip is all. Oh, what about that one thing? The thing in the tool shed. Oh yeah, the pickaxe. Oh yeah, crazy diamond. That's Mondo's gang. Yeah, the nose drip. Interesting. That could be very, very well be exactly what we need. <laughs> oh yeah, a crazy diamond. <laughs> now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> well, we left the gym. It was just before nine o'clock, so it's probably nine on the dot now. Josuke Stan is like, I haven't, I still haven't seen part five. I think it's part five. 
Same haircut. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, get the pickaxe to be back by 901. That's straight up unreasonable. It's like, just get get in here like, as soon as possible. I, by myself? Surely you have me, you have your me time once in a while, right? Well, if it's me and you, you, ah, hold on, what is this? Well, if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. Hold on, let me take this real quick. There you go. You know how much time it took you to say that? 10 seconds. Breaking the fourth wall, because I, I did start fumble around with that sentence. Took too long. Now Richard's just for my consciousness. Alright, I don't have to voice that. W with that, Toko ran off loud as heard a herd of rabid elephants. For serious, though, are we just gonna knock this door down? <laughs> no problem. It's solved, it's solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. It's like, that was Toko's mating call, by the way. He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. General chat? Alright, let me see what's going on here. Is there a flame? Oh, my bad. Is a flame world breaking out here? Uh. Oh. Tell them to be better at the game. Wait. Oh, wait. General chat. Okay, let me see. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait, you, you got the, uh. For a free nitro, guys. But S Sergeant has nitro. Wait, do you have nitro? I think you have. So, Sarge, all the people in here have nitro. Sergeant has nitro. I have nitro. I think you have nitro as well. So, you gotta watch out for. Um... Oh yeah, by the way, I, 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 at everyone doesn't work. By the way, I, I don't think it works. I think I disabled it. All right, so we go here. So yeah, good luck, everybody. Yeah. So. It's, it's so, so the people who get rewarded right there will be the people who have the notifications off for general chat <laughs> if they have notifications off for general chat they'll be they'll be fine you know all right you can't move forward but always avoid danger if, if you spend all your time oops okay that's the same thing kitagiri said we know maybe just ping everyone individually <laughs> But so, someone's bound to... Also, one thing about that as well, Darius, is that maybe people are wary as well. Because, you know, that's how um, some bots go around Discord and they they do that same thing as well. There's like, here's free Nitro. A person clicks on a link and then they get trapped into something else. So it could be like that. Yeah. Yeah, so it could be like that. You can... You know who who'd probably beat all over that? If you add Tamori. Tamori would be like, I'm on that. Alright, we know the danger, but if the risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. No. Am I wrong? You fixed it? Okay. Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. What? Uh. Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense, I can hardly talk. Yeah, he doesn't trust you, you see? I'm all flubbus. No. I'm totally flabber- blah blah blah. blah. He meant to say flabbergasted. Oh. She wants the best sauce. He took it? Did he? Gross. Where did that come from? Wait. Genocide Jill. Where'd you come from? This is like, ha <laughs> It's like, ah, da, 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 you got the pep sauce? Alright. Hello, hello. It's the one, one de furious, murder furious fiend. Here to get you with a razor sharp smile. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? <laughs> no, you sleep, you sleeping imbecile. The pickaxe! Sleeping imbecile? Oh, master, you wound me, wound me with your executive level barbs. Oh, here comes the bloody nose. Seriously, though, did you really forget the pickaxe? 
Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need. Great for the old memory factor. But I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over well when they switch. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Ah, the light bulb just went on. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. Alright, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. One more mystery. Yep. Now we just need to figure out the identity of Object X. Now, what are you talking about? Did you ever forget about what we were talking about? You're like, missing out on life. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. But what did you find? <laughs> Kuarpus. Did you hear me? I said cor corpse. Oh, corpse. She meant to say, you know how they say it in uh, New York? They say corpse. They don't say quaff. They don't say coffee. They say coffee. They say sausage. So she said corpse. All right, a corpse. That's right. I found a, a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden. Well then. Before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Oi. We're going to the garden. Okay. Say, so what What did you find in the garden? As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... Wait, is that Mondo? I'm about to say, is that Mondo? They killed him twice. They didn't like him, so they had him kill him twice. I saw someone lay on the ground with a mask covering their face. Oh, the 16th student. And there was a knife. He did He did Sudoku. Buried in their stomach, up to the hilt. What the? Are they really dead? You see the nails? For sure, but... Who is it? One hundred mile dash. Pain of a junk food foodie. Just to make things clear. Last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're... I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. So look, this is why he should not be sneaking in other people's rooms, you know. He's like, don't sneak in the rooms, don't grab what's not theirs, and he'll be fine. I told you there's a corpse hanging out here. Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? You need to be looking around right away, however. Be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. Alright, but there's no investigation. Where, where's uh, Monokuma? Yeah, I was like, where's the... Where's Monokuma? It's like, uh, there's a dead body has been found. Let's say, where's the funky music? Alright, let's see, wait, where is it? We need to find out who this actually is. But like, you know, it's, about, it's a case of one of those Scooby-Doo things. It's like trying to uh, uncover it. It's saying, like, ding dong, yeah. It's like, here's a Monokuma file. But there's no way to tell what the mask covering their face like that. Does it uncover the, mil the villain here? And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a totally mystery, but one thing I do know is that whoever that is, they attacked me last night in my room, but why? How did they wind up dead in here? Their heart isn't beating, they're not breathing, all signs of life have come to complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that's there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl at least. How, how can you tell? Well, I think I see the outline of her chest. Just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could, could it be? It can't be Kitty Giddy, can it? 
Okay then. Let's just tear the mask clean off. Wait, don't. But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot out toward the mask. Uh, oh no, I haven't heard your theory on the game yet. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Glitch came in here and told me you finished it yesterday. And in the next instance. I haven't finished it yet though. There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. Oh, it was like another Monokuma. It blew up, it blew up, it blew up, and it blew up again. Just angry, my theory was correct. Oh, okay, dang. My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out. But then... Boy. Hurry up and put out the fire. And my consciousness attempted to float away. That voice reached up and pulled it back to down to earth. On um, some of them, but, but then, then I was like... The game's like, okay, we'll support that theory. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water. Come on. Dump the water on it. Okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. So wait, this person's burned beyond recognition now. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. I guess that took care of it. But what the hell, man? It exploded. I had a bad feeling about the body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... is burnt to a crisp. That's beyond well done, man. Send it back. Tell him to remake the dish. Don't compare it to a steak. He'll never be able to eat steak again. But now that the body's charred, I, ha I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it was? Who isn't here right now? Huh? If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who it must be. There's only one person missing. That's Kyoko. But my thing is like, I don't, why would Kyoko be masked? Cause like, when he went in the room, he got the lights knocked out of him the first time he went in the room. I don't know if that was Kyoko who, who took the lights out of him or not. It's kind of strange. Kyoko. Uh, could, they say it was a girl outline though. Then that dead body. Is Kyoko? No, that can't be right. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. But I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. The mastermind. What? The mastermind? Come on, there's no way the mastermind got charbolt. Get serious. <laughs> I agree. Normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have reasons to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain what the other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if it's a, if his master is dead, right? But that corpse is a girl, right? Doesn't it make it doesn't make any sense? I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So the person may well, very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. He said the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Then could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? It is the teenage girl Kyoko told me about. The ultimate despair. Mo Moruko Ikusaba. The 16th student at Hope's Peak Academy. What are you talking about? The other day Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. I think you better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... It sounds like Kyoko thinks Morokura Ikusabi is the mastermind. No, 
the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have I have no doubt I'm right. There's another student here, and it's a female that would match the body's characteristics. And that phrase, ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Okay, so the mastermind is the girl Morokuro, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But she's been hiding here in the schools like some teenage Bigfoot. How'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? None of this makes any sense, to just suddenly show up and then die. I think we better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Oh hey wait. What? Aren't we forgetting something? You know, Toko? Oh yeah, she totally got blown up, huh? So yeah, yeah, it's just a, Toko's just an afterthought, you know, it's a, just a small casualty. <laughs> Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. Okay, she got the um the friendship ten face right here of Euphine. Oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. Huh? What happened, oh, Master? You declared it for the world, the whole world, to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. Alright, uh, let's, uh, what, what is this? Right now, I have to focus on the body. Alright, let's look at the body. I should take a close look at the body one more time. Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. But like, what if there's a second explosion, you know? Like, <laughs> It was like, hold on, this, that was just like the, the appetizer. Get ready for the grand finale. Don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko after all. Yeah, he not, he's not out here grabbing crotches. Alright, so we go here. <laughs> Ooh, what's, oh, what, oh, this person's got, they're tatted up too. Okay, well, uh, let me check what this is. Like a USB. There's something next to the body. It's it's a key. That thing is like fireproof. Is it what Kyoko took from Monokuma? But what did you steal? I stole this. A key. Um, but looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't, this isn't anything like that. Then, the key is... Nanda. What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. <laughs> I've never seen this key before, what could it possibly go to? So, even you don't know them. <laughs> Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Huh? That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... The bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now? Wait. Uh... Let me save. Safety save here, because you never know. Windows with its instability issues here. Alright. So right now we're on the what floor is this? We're on the fifth floor. And they want us to go to the, the bio lab. Let's go to the bio lab first. See what's over here. Now we get to find all the mysteries of the school. It's raw. The bio lab was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key I found the garden into I, I found in the garden into the keyhole. The key isn't even close to fitting, which means the key doesn't go to this room. Sadness. Alright, so the next step is, um, let's go down by the floors here. It's sort of like Resident Evil, where you have to go to a certain room to get that key, then go to another room to get the other key, and then combine two keys to get a single key. That's how it goes. Alright, so, 
We gotta find the other key. Wait, was this one locked? This was locked, I think. The room I need to check on the floor in the headmaster's room in the data center. Okay. So let's go check Monokuma's room. Yep, all the backtracking. To find out what, where to go. And then when you backtrack, random zombies attack you. The headmaster room was locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key, I found it in the garden keyhole. Huh, the key won't go in. I guess that means the key doesn't go to this door. Uh, the data center, right? So, was this the data center over here? What's this right here? Right here. Door to down, so definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key, I found the gar key in garden hole. It worked! Progress. It fits. Then, this is the key to the data center. I managed to unlock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to, I have to go tell everyone else. I'm really headed back to the garden. Oh, so you're back. How'd it go? I found out which key, room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. Then we can get to the data center now. Interesting. But why did the now deceased have that key on them? <laughs> I suppose we have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Here we are. It looks like the door is still unlocked. <laughs> hey, so when you open the door, there's not going to be another huge kaboom like before, right? <laughs> you're asking that question now? <laughs> Alright, send Toko in there. She's like... She's like kaboom proof. Don't worry, we have my coat. Okay, that, that works too. What? It's in your hands. Again? Oh, well, he, he's, the, he's the most luckiest guy. To yeah, Toko is a tank, built like a tank. But Makoto is like the luckiest guy, so he, he won't get hurt too much. It means I trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. Oh, hold on, Togo. Talk her in there. Get in there. Alright, she's not in the mood. Master told you he trusts you? Master told you that? Well, don't don't let it get to your head. I am so not happy about any of this. Alright, I guess I have no choice. Let's go in here. I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. Dang, this guy has a picture of himself on the on the thing. And a word and a word, the room was strange. I mean, all the rooms up until now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. A strangey strange. A strangey that strange. It wasn't a surface sphere like the rest of the school. Here the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Yep, that's how he found out at all times. Each monitor displayed a different section of the, of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of school was covered. This is... It's a direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in school feed back to, into this room. And they are displayed here on these monitors. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. To watch us. Then this room is... The Mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The Mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the mastermind was here. Watching us. <laughs> then I think that settles it. <laughs> the body in the garden. If they had the key to the room, it could only mean one thing. <laughs> that was the body of Mor Mokuro Ikusaba, and she was the mastermind. 
Is that what he deduced? Then the mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? It would seem so. For serious? It's, it's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill him them himself. The mastermind is dead. Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because, I mean, that body... Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was in that? Who who was it that that killed them? But if the mastermind really is dead, that means we can finally get out of this hellhole. We gotta hurry up and find the exit. Come on. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? But what about the exit? If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. For right now, we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. <laughs> and I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. Murdered? So you think so too, huh? Naturally. The state of the corpse makes it plain as day. There's absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. Why has it got to be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? Kyoko could have probably ended that person that's exactly why i said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind now do you understand you useless insect you're banned from talking to master ever again the mastermind's purpose and why they were killed this room may very well hold the answers to those questions after all the mastermind must have spent who knows how much time here <laughs> Okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. Alright, so let's see. He even has a camera for himself. No matter when, no matter where, the surveillance cameras are following it are every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place even have, anyways? He can't even trust himself, he has to watch himself. Alright, so we go here. There's nothing showing up on this one. Except for, oh, except for, yeah, except for the bathhouse. Because he's a, he doesn't have cameras in the bathhouse because he, he's like, he's a, he's a decent bear. He doesn't like seeing lewd things. Huh, hey, look, next to that TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? Is it? It is. Yeah, he, he didn't want to see any of that. He's like, so you, you go ahead and go and do that yourself. It is, just like the one my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high-def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up the antenna, we could watch TV. Huh, did someone say TV? Well, well, Saturday morning, Hina's here. Uh, are you talking about me? Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, hold on. Oh, you're all star for info from the outside world, huh? Alright, let me work my magic. Now, you'll be my quantum leaping... You'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what he's talking about? I see what's here at the desk. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high-performance PCs. Nothing like the ancient laptop Ultra Eagle was installed on. <laughs> They're all on, but they seem to be locked. So what? We can't do anything. Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. Huh? What century are you from? The mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network. And alter ego. <laughs> you may very you may be right about that. Nanda. But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. this one specifically. Murica. There's really a ridiculous number of monitors here. And the mastermind's been using them all to spawn us. As long as I have this... Huh? Look at Master Go. It's like a feast for the eyes. Oh no, not... So th this is the one that, that's not it. The, all that booger and the drip and the stuff coming down. 
how much is a monthly membership? I say, no, yeah, I can have that one. All right, so let me see. Oh, what's in the door here? The door is kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? Yeah, too lewd for me. No luck. The door is locked, huh? What if you use that key that opened this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. Nope, no good. It won't even fit the keyhole. Oh. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't st stop thinking about that door with when I come with a picture on it. But worrying about it isn't gonna do any good. Hina's right. The mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Huh. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? Good news for all of you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. Really? Now all we gotta do is switch it on. Watch it be a Monokuma show. Then do it. Friggin' idiot mastermind. All you, all you guys need to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it. He's about like, oh my da. Oh no, no, never mind. Huh. Oh, get get mind, try, mind broken. This is it's a feed coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? Oh, huh, that's weird. Hey, what are you doing? That's really weird, huh? You're weird, weird in every possible way, and not just weird, super weird. But. This TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how is it showing the camera feed? Did you try to change the channel? Ah, oh, good idea. Let's give it a let's give that a try. Here went through each channel one by one. But on every channel it was just us. It was a live feed on us standing there in the data center. What the heck? Is it broken or something? No. There must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Oh my god. <laughs> You're done. Fuck. You know like you know like uh, the Jojo thing like to be continued? A trick. What kind of trick? As and then and then just like done. Dun, dun, you know the song right there. <laughs> I, I'm not sure but uh Oh. You done you done fucked up now. Like, huh? Yeah, that one. What? Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Been a while, you friggin' bastards. Monokuma? Huh? You're supposed to be dead. Me dead? Don't be freaking stupid. Hey, hey, you're kinda acting strange. Something seems different. Of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Not even. It's been like half a day at most. How are you alive again? Oh yeah, that's it. The looks on your face right now. It's sublime. That's what I wanted to see. The moment you went from hope to despair. <laughs> Don't tell me you pretend to be dead all for this moment. Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. <laughs> but here's the thing. They technically did not break a rule because they had a key to get here. So th they won't get punished, so it's fine. And that's that. Well, it's almost time to cut off the past so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want, I want you all to have way more fun in the killing game. You can't be serious. We have to keep going? No. We were supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no way getting, there is no getting out of here. And besides, this life isn't all bad, you know? I mean, 
There's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? Well, I'm pooped from all the laughing. I guess I'll get to the point now. The point? You guys struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. I knew it. It was a high some kind of secret. But I connected to the antenna, so why is it just showing us a surveillance feed? Look how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm going to let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. The TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. But what does that mean? It's displaying the signal, but it's just us standing. So they're actually like on a live TV show then. A live TV show, you know, for keeps. Ah, oh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. The kill this killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. What? This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I understand the deeper meaning. What? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? And they call it reality TV. It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? The, ca the camera feed is being broadcast? No way. That's impossible. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system. You know that? All you need is one weird trick that I found. And hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course. I heard a kind of creaking. But the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and groan. Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you. All those tantalizing tidbits about the school mysteries. Even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience. To show them true despair like they'd never seen it before. I became the director of Despair Based Productions. This is the ultimate reality show. The best in despair entertainment. You're lying. If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be go going crazy. Yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. What if they already did? Huh? But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? So what he's doing here, right? He's, he's quote unquote hijacking the airwaves, broadcasting on, on, on a certain channel, like unable to uh, to change the channel right there. It's always live at all times. So they're trying to, the police is probably trying to find them right now and they don't know where they are. Sure, some my people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally though, so whatever. But to take control of all communications like that, you'll need an astronomical amount of resources. Yep. So how could things have come this far? Well, that's a secret. There's something you all need to, to do first, remember? What? Yeah, duh. There's, there's the little business of... <laughs> the delay, though. Of course. Huh? Class trial, do you mean? We're fucked. I'll leave you the next monocle file right here. Everyone, give it all you got, okay? Yeah, the poo poo. -poo. <laughs> okay. Things are getting 
pretty crazy right here. You're in for a heck of a ride. I can't wait. I can't wait. And then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible. The truth helplessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think of it. I took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. I don't understand any of this. What's the spare entertainment and how is he still alive? I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. And plus, what did he say about a class trial? Well, that's part is obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point, we have to figure out what who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. Huh. What? What are you talking about? I thought Morikuro Ikasaba was the one who died. <laughs> the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. Hmm. And if Morikuma is still alive and active, that means the mastermind, Morikuro Ikusaba, isn't dead. <laughs> so naturally, that body can't belong to her. So it must be Kyoko. Oh no, not Kyoko. There's no other possibility. The body is Kyoko's? I don't think Kyoko had a tattoo on her hand though. That one had a tattoo. Kyoko's- Oh wait! Kyoko always had her hands covered up. So that- that could be Kyoko then. Kyoko's been murdered. No, it's not possible. Because- because I don't even know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have it in like this. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. I know right- it probably is Kyoko, man. If you refuse to believe it, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? <laughs> anyway, we better fight. We better begin. But if we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer. So. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? <laughs> well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? But what you just said... Damare. I don't have time to explain now. There's a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> so I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. This is how the game works, after all. Alright, here comes the jam. Wait, hold on, that's not the jam. Well, it's a, it's a rock jam. I thought it was it didn't, didn't, didn't. Well, I better start by checking out the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. It's box 16? Ah! Is it? it went from box 15 to box 16. They were, however, dead before the blast. The, the victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. Oh, I see has a more refined version of it with the guitar in it. They also had been struck to the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Several day old wounds. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The un un unidentified body, could it really be Kyoko? Or... I had no choice, I had to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened, or we're all dead. I used to go back to see the crime, back to the garden. Monocle cool file number 5, add to the truth pool section. Okay, time to get started. I need to check anywhere that may be important, from, from one end to the other. I need to do what I always do. Alright, alright. Now, I have a feeling this is gonna be like a very, very long video if I don't stop here. We're like an uh, hour and a half in already. And I think that's pretty good. It's, it's like, a, like kind of like a cliffhanger here. And then I think tomorrow we can wrap this up. 
I'm so stopping right on box 16. Hold on. Whoops. So. Wait, is, is Darius still here? Because I could do the Japanese word. If not, I could do it another time. Let me save this right real quick. Alright, so. That was a good uh, good stream right there. With that being said, get, wait, let me see. Yeah, yeah. With that being said, um, thank you guys for coming out to the stream. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see if we can uh, conclude this tomorrow. See if we can close out the trials. Y'all take it easy now. I don't have an outro for this. This is a YouTube video. Y'all take it easy now. Adios.